G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, I'm going to revisit the Larimar. Look, I haven't done a Larimar effect for, oh gosh, a month or so. And I know you've been seeing the videos, but I did them like a month ago. And then, you know, I'm just putting them up slowly <laughs> in between other things so you don't get too sick of them. Um, but I am going to do my big live edge tray. Um, this is one that I haven't sold because it's got a little hair stuck in the silicone, so I get to keep it. Um, you know, it's a second. Sometimes I do sell seconds molds, but I'm just going to keep it. Um, so, Larimar. Um, this holds the live edge tray mold, holds about 400 grams of resin. So, um, I've got my white mixed up. I couldn't even remember how to do it. Seriously, I had to go back and look at one of my videos to see how to pour a Larimar effect. <laughs> Because, you know, then there's the dragon flower and there's the fairy flower and they're all different and I couldn't remember. But um, if you want to get the recipe, go to resincourses.com. Um, links down below with a coupon code and they will show you how to do it. So I've got my white, big cup of white. Um, it's a bit on the transparent side. A little bit on the transparent side. Um, and then I've got my dark. Looks very dark in the cup, but you can see it's still it's still transparent. And that is um, Holbein acrylic ink phthalo turquoise, and I've got one black oh, one black one drop of Let's Resin black pigment paste in that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh! Let me get that out. <laughs> the joys of live videoing. Oh my gosh! My poor little black. All right, there we go. Let me clean it up real quick. Um, so then, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a dark. So we've got our white, our dark, and then the rest of my resin. Um, I'm using just, it's a clear, but I'm going to add a little bit of mauve to it. I'll spray that later with some um, isopropyl alcohol. But for now, let's just get on with the, let's get on with the video, shall we? All right, so this the light is going to be mauve. Now you can split this amount that's left over and have some with the mauve and some with clear. Um, I, look, I don't personally do that. I just dump it all in rather than having a light and a clear. Let's make sure there's no dry bits around the top there. All right, so how many shall we do? It's a big cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll see what ten looks like. And then I may add... Yes, I will. A couple more. Another two. I thought, yeah, turquoise and mauve would look nice together, hey? So this is basically your, your clear, but it's got a little bit of colour in it. See, not much. Just a little bit. I think that'll be enough. So we'll call this one the clear. That's the dark. That's the white. Okie dokes. Clear as mud. All right, I am using the Platinum Ultra Clear resin. It's a low viscosity, which means it's a thin resin. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I've got, for my centre, I've got some blue kind of stones. I need a bit more than usual because it's a big centre. It's going to be a big centre. So we'll have some of that blue stone in there. This is by Stamperia. Sparkling blue and then uh, some blue opal by Let's Resin. So this, that's the stone and this is the glitter. So it's got like a purpley bluey tone in there, which I think will be nice. So I'll put those there. Got a tiny little bit of clear resin just in the cup already, just to make a little paste out of that. Make sure that you save some of your clear resin first, hey? <laughs> Otherwise, if you use it all, it's all coloured and then you've got no clear left. So that's it there. Okay, yeah, like I said, I had to go back and watch my video, so it's it's the pouring of the white first. Okay, let's do this. I am using my Bloom. I haven't got my proper labelled ones yet, but I am using my Bloom pigment paste. All right, give it another quick stir. Oh, I'm nervous. It's a lot of resin. It's a lot of resin. So, yeah, like I said, 400 grams. Okay, stir. All right, now we'll just pour this in. Pour it in. Hope it works. I've only done the um, the big one once before when I was very, very new to the Larimar effect. 
um, it was okay. It was it wasn't great, but you know it was like I said, it was I was new to it, so I was still learning. Just gonna give that a bit of a tap 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 just to kind of release some of those bubbles off the base there. All right, now our dark is next, and we're just going to dump. Don't pour in up high. Don't pour in slowly. Just find the middle and just dump it in. Okay, you want that to really push out underneath all that white. If it doesn't go too straight, it doesn't matter. I don't think. <gasps> okay, so that's that one. And then our light. We're just going to find the middle again and just dump that in. And there we go. Whoa, it's done. It's done. Oh my gosh. Now, if it's going to work, <laughs> if it's going to work, the um, the white will kind of come up over the top of the darker colours and hopefully give us some really pretty effects. So that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. So we'll watch it. Um, I'm not going to put the center in for yet. I'm going to wait mm, probably about half an hour. I will put you on a time lapse and um, I'll come back in about half an hour and we'll put the put the center in. Hopefully it's going to work. Hey, it's always a worry, isn't it? <laughs> when you're not sure. <laughs> but, uh, look, I've, what I've done is... With my smaller Laramars, um, all I did was use my same amount, same recipes, and just times it by 2.5, times everything by 2.5 to get to the big one. So I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that it's going to work. Yeah, I don't know. Is it like a cake where you can just double the muffin recipe? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll see you soon. Enjoy the time lapse. Right, it has cured. It's still warm and soft. Um, I've just got it out of my food dehydrator. Uh, so it's been curing in there. It doesn't look the way my Laramars usually look on the back. So I'm not really confident that it's going to work. So I thought, look, I'm just going to get it out. And um, if it doesn't work, I can just throw it away. <laughs> And I can do another one because I want to. I want to do a nice one in the tray. So it's still a bit soft there. So yeah. So we're going to get it out. But um, it really does not look like my others look. Um, I'll link the um, Life Edge tray mold in my description down below. All right. <laughs> let's just let's just do this. Hey, it's like pulling a bandaid off. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That's a lot of white. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's probably like I've got a lot of white on the back and there's a lot of white on the front as well. What do you think, though? It's it's like a snowstorm. Okay, so it hasn't really worked the way that I anticipated, which I didn't think it would with the um all the white on the back like that. I guess I put too much white in. But let's go and have a little look at it anyway around the other side of the room. When you get really um, small little crackles like that, it's usually an indication that, um, you know, your white's just a bit too heavy. Wow, I've never done one with that many little crackles in it, though. Wow. I guess it'll grow on me. Like, you know, there, I think when you do a piece of art, a piece of resin art, I think they're all beautiful in their own way. Maybe not what you were expecting. It wasn't what I was expecting. But 
it's still really pretty. And like I said, I've never, ever had one that had so many crackles on the inside. That Larimar edge there. Oh, Larimar design. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to use less white next time. And we'll see how we go. I'm going to walk around here. <laughs> walk around here to where I usually walk around. Oh gosh. Um, go around the side. Okay, there we go. I've got my other fairy flower down below. A little fairy flower. Oh my gosh, I should have zoomed out a bit. There you go. What do you think? Yeah, it's not, not as good as usual, but, you know, like I said, they're all different. Each one is different, that's for sure. For sure. But, um, yep, can't complain. All right. Going to do it again, though. <laughs> See if I can get less white. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you all again real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.